So apparently all the rumors that we heard, all the stories that we listened to, all the articles that we read were spot on because apparently Derrick Henry was a Baltimore Raven. But then the owner stepped in and said, nope, let's read the report from Mr. Cole Jackson FB. He said, Per sources, the Ravens and Titans had a deal in place for Derrick Henry. That deal was vetoed by the Titans' owners. <laughs> oh, man. You know what was funny? Somebody commented. Actually, a couple of people commented it. But somebody commented, oh, watch Derrick Henry end up being part of the Baltimore Ravens almost club. That club of players that they almost got. They came so close to getting, but everything ends up falling through. Well, that's that. And that is some interesting news to know. That is some heartbreaking news for some to hear because, like, the possibility, like, it wasn't even just a possibility. It was real. It was apparently real that Derrick Henry was going to be a Baltimore Raven. But not even an offensive coordinator, not even a head coach, not even a GM, but an owner stepped in and stepped on the deal. And said, no, I ain't having it. No, sir. And I know a lot of Ravens fans are going to be really, really upset about this. And I get it. I, I understand it. Because for a, a defense to have to deal with Gus Edwards alone, that's a lot. For a defense to even have to still deal with Gus Edwards and Justice Hill, that's a lot. But for a defense to have had to deal with Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, and Derrick Henry, <laughs> that's a whole lot. But then on top of that, and we're just speaking about the running game alone, for a defense to have to deal with Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, Derrick Henry, and then you sprinkle in some Lamar Jackson. <laughs> but defenses won't have to ever deal with that at all because Derrick Henry is not going to the Baltimore Ravens. Now, I wonder if the win over the Titans had anything to do with it. I wonder if the Ravens and Titans sort of, uh, I mean, excuse me, not the win over the Titans, the win for the Titans uh, over the Falcons, if that had anything to do with it. Um, I wonder if uh, the Ravens-Titans rivalry might have got thrown in. They, like, they ain't trading no Derrick Henry to no Ravens, man. What you think we did? Maybe, but it's business, so probably not. But I just wonder if they, they didn't want Derrick Henry to go out like that. To go to a better team, um, with the possibility of him being traded in that team, possibly winning a Super Bowl. Hey, we, we won't know till we know. It's a real possibility that that happens uh, and that that would have happened with Derrick Henry. But even though I know most, well, not even most, but a lot of Ravens fans are very upset about this, especially if this is true. I, I know this breaks a lot of Ravens fans' heart if this is accurate. But what it does let us know that, the Ravens are seriously shopping uh, for a running back to add somebody to the to the position, uh, to have somebody be a part of what the Baltimore Ravens already have. Uh, and they want somebody who they can trust. They want somebody who can make plays. They want somebody who can be a good complement to what they do. Now, uh, I, I've said it time and time again, and a shout out to my guy Noah from For the Flock because he was the first one that even brought this idea to my attention. But when he brought it to, to my attention through his videos and stuff, and like I said, he is the best Ravens content creator out there, um, it just made sense because Alvin Kamara, Alvin Kamara, out of all the running backs that could possibly be available, Saints are 4-4. Four and four. So he might not even be available right now. They just beat the Colts yesterday, so he may not even be available. But Alvin Kamara would be by far, I think, the best fit for the Baltimore Ravens. Just with the way that they run their offense, he would be amazing. Another idea that he brought to the table is Josh Jacobs, and he's another good one. He's a playmaker. He done stayed healthy too, grinded out type of running back. So Ravens got some options. They, they, they really do have some options, and there's a lot of guys that I didn't name either. But the Ravens have plenty of options that they can choose from, uh, even, even though this Derrick Henry thing ain't going down. I'm sure that hurt them, I'm sure. Because, again, if you have something in place, if you got everything lined up and it's like, all right, y'all, we about to cash in, we about to bring Derrick Henry to Baltimore. Like, ooh, that just, saying it out loud just sounds crazy, but it sounds exciting, right? Like, oh, man, we about to bring Derrick Henry to the Baltimore Ravens. Derrick Henry is going to be a Baltimore Raven. That sounds really exciting when you say it out loud and you really think about it out loud, too. But that's no more. That's no more. 
That dream is done. It's over. It's dead. It's officially a wrap. Derrick Henry will not be a Baltimore Raven. But it does let us know that they're looking. So does let they know that let us know that they active and we expected the Ravens to be active uh before the trade deadline. We expected them to be looking at different players and whatnot, making probably at least one move. Just just one move. I don't only expect one move, but a significant move. Um but if it's for running back, okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um it, it's gonna be interesting to see how the Ravens play this thing out. Um it's gonna be interesting to see what comes of this, uh what comes after this. Because it's, man, it's like, you know, with failure, with failure is, is very frustrating. It's very disappointing. But what's even more frustrating is, is, is when you did everything right and you were so close and there was absolutely nothing that you could possibly do about the outcome of something that, that happened or in this case didn't happen. So, again, because Ravens apparently had everything lined up. They, they were ready to go. Everything was ready to go. But the owner said, no, 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 we don't want to do it. So... Nothing you could do about that. Um, now, my guy, uh, Jason, shout out to my guy, Jason, from Huddle Up Films, because he, he made a very, very good point uh, on Twitter. Um, and make sure y'all subscribe to his channel, too. It's Huddle It Up Films. He said, you saw how important Gus Edwards is to this team in reference to this past game against the Cardinals. He said, the point of wanting to trade for a running back isn't to replace Gus Edwards. It's to have insurance for Gus Edwards and... Give him, a, give him a running mate who can ease some burden off of him. The Cardinals game made a good case for that. So, uh, my, what my guy was saying is that, yeah, hey, trading for a running back is not to have Gus sitting down somewhere, not to have Gus canceled out or have him fizzled out from the lineup, but just at bringing somebody who can help carry the load, help be that running back that could bring it all four quarters and whatnot who the Ravens could keep handing it off, handing it off, handing it off. And that running back keeps producing, getting positive yards. Uh, and it's just not just all on Gus and not that it's all on Gus right now, but Ravens are in a weird space where sometimes it feels like Gus is the main running back. Other times it feels like it's justice Hill. I think it all depends on the game, but obviously in that Cardinals game, it was Gus. I think he had 80 carries. He obviously had three touchdowns. When you got three touchdowns, they hand it off to you on the goal line. Hey, they value you. Um, now, do they value Gus Edwards to a limit, though? That's another question, another conversation, another topic for another day. But mm, still just think about Derrick Henry. I, I guess what we can do uh, to just help ease the pain a little bit, even though this might make it hurt that much more, you could trade for Derrick Henry and Madden and see how good you do with him. Uh, with the... <laughs> with the <laughs> <coughs> My fault. Yeah. <laughs> you can trade for Derrick Henry and Madden and see how good he does with the Baltimore Ravens and then just go from there. 